Hello everyone, I hope all of you are doing great. This is Rubel Hussain. I am a registered nurse. I have completed my Bachelor of Science in Nursing from the College of Nursing IUBAT. IUBAT stands for International University of Business, Agriculture and Technology. I completed my BSc in Nursing in 2021. Then I have worked as a staff nurse in Ahasanya Mission Cancer Hospital. I also had the opportunity to work in two different nursing colleges. And currently i am working with iobats college of nursing i am really proud that i studied in iobat and now i have got the chance to work with our team in iobat and i am blessed because i studied in the same place more importantly i will be able to share my experience my knowledge skills with the new generation students that i have learned in my nursing journey in this video i am going to talk about whether you will study the masters in nursing program or you will study masters in public health so let me start the video hopefully you will watch the full video in this video i will be talking about the advantage and disadvantage of studying public health also the good things or positive things to study masters of nursing and as a nursing background student if you have completed your bsc in nursing you can blindly choose master of nursing program there are many nursing colleges currently in private sector they have started their master masters of science in nursing program it means you will do an advanced degree which is a master degree in a particular nursing subject currently nnr along with bsmmu they are providing master's degree from the government sector but if you are not eligible to apply for that if you have the license number that means if you have completed your bsc in nursing you can apply for master of science in nursing program in several private nursing college one of them where currently i'm studying is Grameen Caledonian College of Nursing. I have admitted in the community nursing department. There are many other programs. Let me talk about them. There are six disciplines under NNR. One of them is adult and elderly nursing. The second one is women's health and midwifery nursing. The third one is child health nursing. The fourth one is mental health and psychiatric nursing. Number five is community health nursing that I'm studying. And last but not the least, the subject is nursing management. Very recently in BSMMU, they have started some master's program. They are cardiothoracic nursing, intensive care nursing, orthopedic and trauma nursing, nephro urology nursing, orthopedic nursing, mental health and psychiatric nursing, child health nursing. Okay, recently few nursing colleges, they have started their master's program. So what is the criteria to admit in the private nursing college for master's course? First of all, you need to complete your BSc in nursing program and you must have the valid license card from the BNMC as well as if you have uh, some clinical experience that will add value for your admission process. There are few nursing college. I am mentioning them. First of all, Grameen Caledonian Nursing College, GCCN, Universal Nursing College, United College of Nursing, Komudini Nursing College, and a medical college. So these are the nursing college in private sectors. They have started the master's program. My dear students, if you are really interested to make your career in the teaching profession, you must have a master's degree after your bachelor program so if you are in fourth year or you are third year bsc student or if you have completed your diploma in nursing program and currently studying in the post basic nursing program you should be considering to have master's degree because in near future in the private nursing college or the government nursing college they will hire the person who holds the master's degree in nursing it will carry lots of benefit master's program you know it's a very specialized program after your bachelor degree you can have your master's degree if you start your master's in nursing program you will be 
developing many skills in yourself such as you will develop the leadership quality you will have better communication skill you will have better knowledge better experience and you will have better specialized knowledge in a particular subject of nursing suppose if you do your master's degree in community health nursing so you will be really an expert in the community health issues and problem and concerns and if you study adult and elderly nursing it means you will be competent in the clinical case study and problems okay you will be able to solve them very promptly if you complete your master in mental and psychiatric health nursing then you will be an expert in that field joshua university of science and technology they hire the people who have master of science in nursing degree also good universities like army nursing college iubat and some top nursing college of bangladesh like ramin kalarunyan college of nursing bardem nursing college bsmmu united college of nursing so those were the top nursing college they hire uh, the people who hold the masters degree so you will have better opportunity if you have the masters degree so there will be lot and many more scopes for you for the future now let me give you a short idea about bsmmu and nnr bsmmu and nnr together they provide a master of nursing program in 13 disciplines i mean in 13 subjects they are very specialized if you want to do your master's degree in bsmmu or in nnr you must be a government job holder that means you have to complete your bsc in nursing then you have to work in the government hospital as a senior staff nurse after 2 years of your experience in the government hospital you can admit uh, in bsmmu or nnr with an exam if you pass the admission test then you can be qualified to study your masters program in bsmmu or in nnr or if you work in private sector uh, suppose you are working in in a private nursing college as a teacher or if you are working in a private hospital as a staff nurse if you want to do your masters program in bsmmu or nnr uh, the quota is very low i mean i heard that 1% or 2% students from the private sector it doesn't mean private nursing college it means you are working in the private sector so the percentage may be 1% or 2% or i don't know maybe 5% can be i'm not sure i have to be sure if i know for sure, sure i will be telling you the correct and updated information in my next video because i will be making more videos regarding masters program in bangladesh you will be able to learn the opportunities the prospects you will have after you do your masters program so now many of you can ask me that okay brother whether should i do a master degree in nursing subject or should i study the mph okay many of you may don't know what is mph mph is a master of public health so whenever you do your master degree in public health subject that time we call it master of public health or mph now i will be giving you some idea about the mph program what is the benefit what is the pros and cons what you should know all thing about mph program public health works with 3p these 3p are 1p is health promotion disease prevention and your health protection there are many health problems all around the world so if you are interested in health research it will be better for you to work with the public health and if you are really interested to work with the ngo you know with the ringa people many ngos are working to solve their health issues okay so they will hire the people who have a masters degree in public health because public health expert they work with the disease control disease prevention and creating awareness also they work for the health promotion so if you are interested in this area you can do your public health master degree if you are not interested in that or if you want to work as a teacher in nursing profession i think this is the best time to study 
master in nursing program according to your choice of subject interest so there are many subjects if you feel more interested in community health issues you should go for community health nursing if you are interested in clinical setting then you should study the adult and elderly if you are interested with the children kids okay you should study the pediatric or child health nursing if you are interested to work in mental health you should study master of mental health nursing subject so here we are simply now if you ask me brother should i study mph or should i study msn within few words if i want to finish the video it means if you are interested to work in teaching you must you must and you must choose master of nursing program and if you are interested in research if you are interested in global health issues public health issues okay community health problem you must choose master of public health okay because you want to work with the ngo or you want to get another master's program from abroad so now i'm also giving you a little bit idea how you can get a scholarship from abroad and how you can apply just basic idea because i will be making lots of videos regarding nursing admission career and study so let's talk about little bit how you can apply for a master's degree from abroad you know hungary germany norway and some other european countries they provide scholarship uh, for public health also in nursing sector so if you have completed your bsa in nursing program if you have at least a uh, one year clinical experience okay and if you have good communication skills you have good english competency then you can apply for a master's degree maybe in nursing or maybe in public health so this is the basic process but there are many more so your ielts score if it is more than 7 you can get the full funded scholarship very easily okay so prepare yourself in such a way improve your english improve your communication also improve your subject knowledge that will shape you as a professional person hopefully i'll be making more videos regarding nursing admission study and career so this is all about today's video if you are new in my channel and Facebook page, please put the like button and subscribe button, Nurse Rubel. Okay, uh, I'll be, I will catch you again in the next video. Till then, take care and I wish you all the best.